Hello, good afternoon. The Assembly is sitting for the first time in nearly three years after being recalled in an attempt to stop changes to the abortion law, which come into force at midnight. Not all MLAs are taking their places in the chamber. Sinn Féin and the Alliance Party are staying away. The start of the proceedings was delayed due to last-minute legal manoeuvres. Our political editor, Mark Devonport, joins me now. So, Mark, there's been a lot of activity outside Stormont and inside, and it's all to do with this abortion issue. And Mark, inside Stormont there was a delay as well. Do we know what that was about? Uh. The government is set for another showdown with Parliament this afternoon as it attempts to hold another vote on its Brexit deal. But the vote will only go ahead if the Speaker approves it. The DUP, whose 10 MPs all voted against the deal, is expected to hold talks with Number 10 this week, despite relations being strained with Boris Johnson since he announced his new Brexit plan. Our political reporter Jane McCormack is in Westminster. So Jane, what are we likely to see from the Commons this afternoon? Will the DUP help inflict defeat to the government on Saturday? Is there more of that ahead? We'll have to wait and see. Okay, thank you, Jane McCormack. Well, a new £27 million train station, largely backed by the European Union, has opened in Londonderry. The regional transport... Now let's get a look at the weather forecast for the week ahead. How's it looking, Barra? It's not looking too bad. I'm... At Shearwater Way at around 10 o'clock last night. Well, that's all for now. BBC Newsline will be back at half past six here on BBC One. You can keep up to date on Facebook and on Twitter. From all of us here, have a very good afternoon. Bye-bye.